Hey guys, I have another iPhone application review video for you today. And the application is called Trace. Um, there you go. So when I launch it, whoops, it looks kind of like a drawing, I guess. And that is what they're aiming for. There's music, but for me it gets kind of annoying, so I just keep the sound off. So I'll click start and there's a bunch of worlds. The object of the game is to get this stick figure guy um, across obstacles to a little picture of a sun. So the first world I already completed but I'll show you the first level. It's really simple. So as you can see it kind of tells you what to do for the first few levels. So it says use arrows to move and so here's the arrows and then this triangle thing helps this makes you jump so when I get to the little spinning sun thing I completed the level and here as you can see there's a whoops there's a empty space and so I can actually draw things to help me beat levels. I can also erase um, my drawings. I can't erase anything else, just what I drew. It goes back to the main screen and I'm gonna show you a, a more advanced level. So this one for example, you can't touch the these floating block things. And some other worlds, the second world. Um, And when you complete a level, it just slides to the next level. And it's a really simple game. It's really addicting, and it actually does get really hard eventually. So something that I don't like about this game, sorry, Twitter. Um, if you are moving your little guy around, when you touch the arrows, there's no feedback. So the arrows don't change color or there's no vibration or anything. I wish they would do that so I can actually see if I'm touching the arrow or not. Sometimes I'm looking at the game and I'm trying to move the guy but I'm actually not because I can't really tell. And that's pretty much my only complaint. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching and I still don't know how to close my videos so it's gonna be kind of awkward. Yeah. Bye people.